Hey! Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you've never been here before. I've had a very special delivery to me that means more than actually just what it is. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that in a moment. We are going to be drawing the winner for the competition that I drew just the other day as well, so stay tuned for that one. It is actually Emma's birthday today, and the stuff that I got her, some of the other stuff, only arrived today. So as we was leaving with all the presents already, she's... Um, Anyway, who cares? So we've got some more presents to open later. So we'll start with Vinted. I think it was £4.99 this sold for. We have sold the PS3 version of Skate. Got it in that massive £35 bundle that I've sold probably £80 of stuff already. So that's pure profit now. And for £29.71, we've sold another one from that £107 bundle. Rab Power Stretch Pro hoodie. Really, really nice top. That A lot of this is my size, but unfortunately... Just not my colour. Does that make sense? I was off key bill, but I wouldn't actually. I need to make the money back. Over on eBay for eighteen ninety nine, we have sold some Samuel Windsor shoes, which are around somewhere. I'm not too sure where they are, but you just have to trust me. It's a pair of shoes. There they are. Can't be asked to get them down. A pair of shoes. <laughs> the fifty pence boxes of chess pieces are going out now. The smaller one has sold for eleven pounds all in. W H Smith Boxwood Chessmen. Another packet of the Tekken player cards. They have sold for £13.24, I think. 94 The Sony speakers that I picked up for for 50 pence have sold for one, two, three, four, twelve pounds thirty-four. I love it when those sort of numbers came in. Came in? Come in. We've sold the Viking board game. £18.99. I think I paid three fifty for this or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, three fifty. I'm glad I spotted that. I haven't even taken the bloody price off it. <laughs> Oh dear. That could have been risky. For £11 all in, we've sold these micro Viking cars. We've got the red truck and the mobile petrol wagon thing. They're by a company called, yeah, Micro Viking. I think they are Polish. I think. I'm pretty sure they are. And that's it for the sales. And I'm really desperate to open this package. I've waited about a month for this now because it's came from Australia, my terrible accent. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about it without saying too much because, well, you'll, you'll find out. So about 10 years ago now, maybe a bit longer, the time when everybody had Facebook, mainly Facebook only, and we put all our statuses up there. Just have my dinner. Just have me tea. She's pissing me off. He's pissing me off. I'm sad. I'm happy. You'd put everything on there. Well, about 10 years ago, I was going through quite a rough patch in my life. Um, oh. Yeah, I needed help. But I really needed help. There goes the light. <laughs> that lasted quite a fair bit of time, to be fair. I've not charged it in for ages. So as I was saying, I was going through a rough patch. I was homeless i had just gone through some really really tough stuff that i'm not going to get into too much but the main thing you need to know here is that i was sofa surfing i was staying on a friend's sofa at the time but before that i was staying wherever i could wherever i could however i could um it was rough it was a really rough time and i was putting things on facebook and stuff like you always do looking back now probably like self-pity posts at the time but anyway a chap saw one of my, a chap in Australia saw one of my posts. I was actually following him at the time. He was working his way into, he was doing like, remember when, listen, all these sketches and stuff that you see now on Instagram and TikTok, let me tell you, they started out on Facebook. Facebook was where everything started. Yes, I'm that old, all right? But this chap who I was following, and you sort of, when you follow pages, I think you can, I think he followed me back for whatever reason. Um, it's just a nice guy, but I don't know. But anyway, anyway, I think you was, oh, that was it. I think you had to be friends. I think you sort of add a friend account and you add friends and then you build followers after you've maxed out your 5,000 friends and then you max out followers or something like that. But anyway, me and this gentleman, most of you will know him as Hi Josh now, very successful in what he's doing. Started out in Facebook though. At the time, he was doing okay, but nowhere near of where he is now. I'm just trying to paint a picture for you. He obviously was watching my Facebook posts and realising that I was in a shit place. You have to bear in mind, back then, you put your life on Facebook. As mentioned, just have my tea. 
I don't do that anymore. I don't even use Facebook anymore. And I wouldn't do that now anyway. It's matured. I've grown. But he saw me going for a really shit time. And I was in a place where I didn't have help or support around me. And I didn't feel like I deserved help or support. I just knew that I was in this place. And this is where I am now. And it's going to take a miracle for me to get out. And move forward with my life. And start building on the rock bottom that I'd hit. So... Josh reached out to me and offered me some kind of help. But at the time, and I'm still going to respect it now, to a degree, but I think it's okay me talking about some of it now. But at the time, he said, I'm willing to help you and I want to help you. But you cannot tell anyone what I've done for you. Which I'm still not going to say the exact thing now. But I think he's going to be okay with me mentioning that, he's, that, he, that he helped me. So he was doing this out of the goodness of his own heart. Because he wanted to help somebody, a person, a human. And that really stuck with me. That really sort of stayed with me. And he helped me and he got me out of the situation I was in. And from there, I was able to just keep moving forward and keep moving forward. I did. If it wasn't for that leg up, I, I never could have done it. So not only did he help me in the situation that I was, he also taught me something which is about helping others without having to have external gratitude or recognition. And the people around me, Emma and other people, and my kids, I've done it in front of them just to try and teach them the ways as well, can attest that I do lots of random acts of kindness that I don't tell people about. I pay for people shopping. I donate to kids selling things on the sides of the streets. I see little jumbo sales. I'll go and give them 20 quid and say, keep the item, sell it again. Um... People at the card terminals, their cards declined or whatever else on there. I'll go, let me, let me get this. Let me pay for this. I don't tell nobody about it. Obviously, I'm talking about it now to make a point. And I, I have done and always will continue doing random acts of kindness. And that came from Josh. So without having to be like, get any camera out. Watch this, guys. Hi there. Can I help you with your shopping? Can I pay for this, please? That's not genuine. You're doing that for external gratification, not doing it for your own I want to do good and help this person move from the shit position they're in, even if it is just their card declining, and move them up. Because that's what Josh did for me. And I haven't spoken to him properly since then, after the help had happened. We spoke for a bit and then obviously move on with our lives and I would spent a lot of time digging my heels in and trying to rebuild my life. And I did. I rebuilt my life. About a few, maybe two months ago now, um, after, because I, I stopped using Facebook, so that's all I had Josh on. I An advert thing came up of Josh, and I was like, oh, fucking, there he is. There he is. And I looked at him, and I thought, I'm so glad you're still, I'm so glad you're still doing well. He's done really, really well now. All of his socials, you'll be able to find them. Hi, Josh, TikTok. He does all the lip syncing and things like that. Very, very funny guy. He was always funny before as well. He's got a little family now. But he was doing a jumper drop. And it was not just any old jumper drop. Ten years ago or so now, he went into an op shop, is what they call over there, and found this jumper. Vintage jumper. And he spent many years with all these different, um, what do they call them, like, manufacturers and stuff, trying to recreate this jumper and get it right. And get it perfect you'll see on one of his videos he goes through so many different styles and variations he's never happy with it and then he finally finally this one company just nails it so he did a drop and i was very very grateful to pick one up i was happy to spend the money on getting one of those it's just a small little thing that i could have done just to have gave back and say thank you 
I messaged him as well after and said, I don't know if you remember me or not, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, Ricky, of course I do. I often think about you. And I was just like, so cool, so nice. But he brought, but anyway, anyway, I'm losing track. So basically, Josh dropped a jumper and I, I've had this about three days now. I've been dying to open it. But I wanted to do a video first. So we're going to open this together. Now it's going to be like, whoa, it's going to blow your mind what this is. And you're probably not going to understand it, but you don't have to like it either because I freaking love it. So let's just open this up. I think there might, I don't think there's, I don't, I don't think there's any more available. So this is not a push for you to go and get his products. But if there is, go over to Hi Josh. I think he did put a post up saying he ordered a few extra, like 14 more extra from the drop because they did sell out. So if you like this, and you want to pick yourself one up, go and check it out. But this is not about being a plug. This is about a thank you and a little bit of a story time for me, I guess, and how the world does what it does and how people can help people without looking for recognition and just help people for their own want and desire to lift another person up. That's what Josh did. That's what he taught me. That's what I do in my life. Here's the jumper. Yes. And there's a sticker as well. So this is obviously it's going to give you a little clue of what the jumper is. Now there's Josh. <laughs> What's in here? I don't want to rip the sticker. Let me see if I can break the paper. I don't know what this is. I'm kind of hoping it's a little gala bird. It is. Oh, they're croc. What are they called again? Croc things. See, there you go. That's the Facebook Messenger. That was his first original. I think it still is his logo as well. And the Gala Bird. I don't know if they say Gala Bird. Gala Bird, I call them. Look at that. So you can see what this jumper's going to be. That's very cool. So I ordered an XL, hoping that it's going to be nice and baggy. Please be baggy. <laughs> Love it. Yes, 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 look at that, absolute beauty. Now, you know I'm going to waste no time, even though I love my t-shirts today. Do you like this? Car boot style, pick up, one pound. I've got to put it on. I've got to put it on. He's even got his little, he's even got his logo in there. Very well done. If it was very good quality. Obviously, I wouldn't wear this with a t-shirt normally, just to hide that crew neck just there. Yep. Oh, I'm so happy, so blessed. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And not only do I love it for the design, I love it because it was just a little way of me being able to help him reach his target and say thank you to Josh as well. Josh probably won't ever see this video. It might do actually, I might send him a link. Should I? Maybe I should. Because I've spoke about something I said I wouldn't speak about at the time 10 years ago, but I've just mentioned it. I haven't, I haven't gave full details on it. So Josh, I hope you don't mind me saying what I said. It is now a part of my life and it is now a part of my story. What happened with us and your help you gave me. So I feel it's important for me to talk about. So I hope you don't mind me sharing some of the details. I love the jumper, Josh. I love it. Look at that. So it's nice and silky here. Really well done. The embroidery is just lovely. I could see why it took him so many attempts to get it just, just right. Ooh, fantastic. So there, there's my jumper. A uh, bit of a different video, that one. I know, I'm very aware. But uh, I wanted to get this jumper open and I wanted to do a little video piece on it, explaining it as well. Because I'm going to be wearing this jumper and there's going to be people saying, what on earth have you got on? And I'll be like, Mm. you've got no fashion you've got no style you've got no stars so again josh thank you for everything you did in my life and i wish you plenty more success that you're having already let's pick a winner for that giveaway shall we here we go this is for the lego and the barbie and all that kind of stuff that was in there anything goes this time no special words i think it's like 270 comments on this one look at that 236 entrants and the winner is Russ Sarah.
Well, that proves it. David's a knob. 19 whatever. Great video, mate. Sarah, I think it's Sarah or Russ Sarah, please do get in touch with me. All of my links are down below. You have won the giveaway. Congratulations, mate. So there we go. On that note, I think I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you understand the story and the message behind today's little jumper segment. If you can help somebody, help them. But don't do it for glory. Do it because you want to. I love you all. Take care. See you on the next one. Bye. Congratulations, Sarah. Reach out. Bye, Josh.